What's up, y'all? It's Steph, and I'm back with a prank, y'all. It's been a minute, but I am back. I got a good one. This one's gonna be kind of disgusting, y'all. I know if it was me that was getting this prank done on them, I'd probably throw up. So, we gonna hope it don't affect her that bad, but she was definitely gonna be grossed out. So, I decided I'm going to try to plant a Band-Aid in her food, y'all. Now, I gotta be careful because I don't want my baby to actually eat the Band-Aid. So, I gotta strategically place this shit. I have this fresh new band you guys. Ain't been nowhere, so it's okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Tabasco on it. Make it look like it's a little blood. Oh my gosh, she is going to be disgusted. I'm going to roll it up and make it like it's been on somebody's finger. I wish I had to make a way to make it look a little dirty, but I don't want to put no dirt on this, y'all, because I'm going to actually put this in her food. Hopefully my baby don't eat this shit, y'all. <laughs> that's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha. We are back with another mukbang. If you are new to our channel, go check the rest of our videos out and also check out our blog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs, where we do no eating, just vlogs. If you've been before, welcome back, OGV fam. Baby, tell them what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing. A Pazzo Pizzeria Mukbang. Yes, this is our third time doing this, I believe. <laughs> yes. And we got a couple of viewer topics. Tasha has one, I got one. I don't know which one we're gonna end up doing. Yeah. But somebody is gonna get some advice. Let's eat. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we are back. I got a pepperoni pizza with extra sauce. Mm, she loves extra sauce. Mm -hmm. And I have Pazzo wings. Don't know exactly what flavor it is but it's definitely asian inspired i got the fettuccine that's delicious and i got some jalapeno poppers so i'm gonna try these they gave me ranch i also have some greens from the barbecue mukbang because i have a lot left and they are not going to waste so y'all might see these on the next two videos okay yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try these i love churches jalapeno poppers yeah i haul Oh, okay. They good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Y'all did that. They look like they need to be heated up. They do. Like they're not hot enough, you know. They do. Okay. They also brought me a um, bulgogi pizza that I didn't order. So, that has made it to the mukbang as well. Mm. Have you ever had their bulgogi? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, sure him. Y'all, we were supposed to do Indian food today. Why are Indian place closed down? Or moved or something. We can't even find it. Man. And that was like, we love Indian food, period. But that was one of the top spots. Yes. That we've had. So we were like, do we try a new place or just go for somewhere we like? Yeah. Let me know it's good. We wasn't in the mood to try nothing, y'all, today. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm. I need some lemon. This shit don't go at all, and I do not care. <laughs> what, everything you eat? Some greens. Oh. Well, you gotta get your greens in. We did a juice this morning. Um, <laughs> I put everything in that juice, y'all. Everything we had in the refrigerator, I put in there. Ketchup, <coughs> mustard. <coughs> hot sauce. I'm joking. Uh, huh? Shut up. <laughs> Ketchup, mustard. You said hot sauce? Put hot sauce in mm -hmm. it? I was choking off the hot sauce I put in here. Oh. Uh. So what did you put in our juice? I put ginger, turmeric, apples, carrots, blueberries, kiwi, kale, and spinach. <coughs> that was a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was tasty. It was real good. Come on now. Couldn't even taste the kale and spinach. And I put a lot. Mm. Gotta get Ooh, your green spinach and rice. Like I'll eat this white rice all week long. Mm. This is so good, y'all. So good. Y'all can't really see me. My bowl, huh? Yeah, I guess you can. I didn't put all of her thing on here. Cause I wanted it a little bit. God, man. I'm just playing, y'all. That's fine. Mm. So, um. I wanted to do this topic yesterday. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it, Stephanie. I guess I'm gonna let her do her topic first. 
Mm. It was a long one. Mm -hmm. I saw a really long one where you saw the movie around. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a long one. And I think we'll have stuff to you say. Gonna, you gonna read it or you just gonna sum it up? No, because I didn't even read it all. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that if you When I read it, the second paragraph, I was like, oh yeah, this is good. Okay. Let me, um. Y'all, if y'all don't know nothing about Palazzo Pizza, Rhea. I think it's called Pazzo. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's not Palazzo. I said Pazzo. It's not, you said Palazzo. Mm. <laughs> I was trying to tell y'all what these wings remind me of. Oh, the little outside? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Man. I think I'm gonna get full fast on this one, y'all. You do? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to eat slow, but I've been wanting pizza for two weeks. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Hi, y'all. Shout out to Eli. I'm sure y'all hear him in the background. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Playing the game loud tick. I ain't wasting any of this chicken. This is pretty good. Mm. Can I have a bite of your pizza? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look. Is that it? I said, look. I got somewhere I gotta go. Um, and I'm dropping onions on myself. I'm gonna have to change. I'm gonna have to change. I already dropped something on my shirt. Me too. Oh, Stop you know. Me. Oh, I, should, I forgot my parm. I wanted to try this with Parmesan cheese. What? Do we have it? Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. The um. Do I think we do? I think I might have used it all. The real Parmesan cheese or the? Nah, it's Huh? Faking. Oh, yeah, we got it. There ain't a lot left. No, I'll make do. It's cool. It, look at me trying to put stuff on her side that okay. I don't want. I'm gonna go here. This shit is great. <clears throat> I'm gonna read the topic in a second, y'all. Huh? I'll just tell them I'm gonna read the topic in a minute. So, coming up. Mm. Y'all. A chicken bomb? Yes. Let me try one. I wish they weren't so yeah. big. The bigness is what tires me out, but I think most of it is like just the little crust that they put on it. Oh, you like mm -hmm. that? I'll give you, mm -hmm. you like the. It don't matter. No, it's anything. It's probably gonna be my last piece. Mm -hmm. good. I'm glad they um, mm. kill it, right? Mm -mm. Uh -oh. oh, well. I'm changing anyway. <laughs> it's great. Well, I will say one thing, y'all. That's why I'm only eating now. So it does that does get me heartburn. The chicken. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm I don't know oh, if it was the chicken or. What the fuck was that? What? Oh, 
Oh God. I'm about to throw up. Don't throw up. Babe. Babe. <laughs> Y'all know these motherfuckers put a band-aid. They didn't put one. I'm sure they didn't purposely do that shit, but oh my god. Wait, no, don't throw up. Please don't throw up. You don't throw up. Please don't. That is so gross. Shit. And it's got blood in it. What? I see some red stuff. Look. You see it? Oh. What was her number? Oh, <clears throat> That's why we. I cannot. We gotta make our own food. Motherfuckers are fucking disgusting. And don't even give Whoever took that shit knew they had a bandaid on their mouth. I mean, on their hand. Babe, don't throw up. Babe, it's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. <laughs> it's a prank. <right. laughs> She's like, she about to go force herself to throw up. That, it's a prank. That's Tabasco sauce. And this is a brand new. Sit down. This is right. I just put it in there when you went to go get the cheese. <laughs> and I didn't put it nowhere. This is clean. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you are fucking nauseous, but it's not real. It's not real. That was it was Tabasco sauce, I promise. Don't put that in my face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I knew that was gonna be hard with y'all. I'm so are you almost finished eating? Yeah. No. You was full, almost full anyway? Yeah. Okay. I was about to go throw up. Oh, I knew you were. That's about to, I was about to make myself throw up. I'm about to throw, I'm about to throw, I was about to throw up in the trash can and I was like, don't put Oh my god, can. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had to do it. When I thought of it though, I was like, that shit gonna be good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, cause I I would have threw up for sure. But th this was brand new. I just opened it. I didn't Can put I it nowhere. It? I put some Tabasco sauce on that. She was burning my chest, y'all. You the Tabasco yeah. sauce? No, it, I had it sitting right here. You had the Tabasco sauce right no, there. No, I had it on there, but it was seeping through onto my skin, burning the shit out of it. Really? That scorpion shit. <sighs> I'm mad because y'all couldn't even see her face most of the time. Woo! You okay? Yeah. I'm not nauseous. You okay? I think so. I can't stop thinking about Baby, it. Baby, it was fake. I know. It was nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, we're going to get into the viewer topic, y'all. Alright. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> oh, I should've gave her a little bit more time to eat. I feel sad. Don't I'm feel sorry, sad. Man. Can I have a hot pepper? With hot pepper. This? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hot makes you feel better. Okay, I've been dating my girl for three years. I'm 27 and she is 47. She cold-blooded, dog. I'm sorry. Yeah. When I met her three years ago, she was open and told me up front she was married and also has three kids. 27 and 47? Uh, yes. 20 years apart. Okay. Um, Wait, how long have they been? Uh, she and three her. years. They met, they met three years ago. So she was 24. 24 and 44. 44. Okay. Okay. Wait. She had three kids. Married with three. Married. With three kids. Okay. She told me her husband was okay with us being together. And she dated women in her past. Mm -hmm. Her husband never interfered with any of her relationships. I live in Chicago. She lives in Pittsburgh. Every month she would fly down here to see me. I love this woman. 
She has all the qualities that I ever wanted in a woman, but she is married. Okay. All the qualities except being single. Except for being single, yeah. Okay. I'm a very honest person too. When I go to bars, clubs, and just hang out with my friends, I'm a big flirt, especially when I'm drunk. And she gets mad. And I tell her, why are you mad? You're the one that's married. I'm not. I love her with all my heart. Even my friends will tell me to move on from her. I love this woman so much. She's everything I've ever wanted in a woman. But she's married. And I'm still young. What should I do? First of all, you just contradicted yourself when you said she's everything you wanted in a woman because she's not. She's married. Exactly. She's not everything you want in a woman. Yeah, the biggest she has, thing is being single. Yeah. Yeah, she has. That's just like me saying Stephanie is everything I wanted in a wife, mm -hmm. except she doesn't cook. Then that's not everything I want in a wife. <laughs> she has most of the things that I want. Not everything. That's what the woman has. She has everything you would want. Has she not been married? Has she not been laying down with her man every night? Her husband, who she shares children with. That's her family. You're her side chick. But I feel like on the list of standards... There are some more important things and some less important things. Being single is the top one. For, for us. Maybe I mean, it's not for her. <laughs> obviously, because she's with a married woman. Being single is the top thing that people are looking for when they're looking for a relationship. Usually because you... The hell? You're looking for somebody you want a future with, right? Right. She ain't about to leave him. She already said her husband is fine with it. And she has had women in the past. This is what she does. Mm -hmm. Until y'all, Until you're done, she is going to continue to be with her husband and be with you. She yeah. ain't leaving him. Why and her kids. She her. She's happy with her family. She's happy with her life. Yeah. She's happy with you being. She a gets side to chick. have her cake and eat it too. <laughs> they got the nerve to get mad when you do it flirting. Now she probably you know I don't know if you trying to flirt in front of her to get her mad and hope that she's gonna do something. She didn't say she flirts in front of her. She said that she's honest. So but she basically goes out to the club and then she comes and tells her woman that she been flirting. So she can get feel like she's doing something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, in a traditional relationship, you wouldn't tell your woman that she was flirting. Uh -uh. You would just flirt and keep it pushing. Right. But you feel some kind of like if she was married. Mm -hmm. You should have never got into this relationship mm -hmm. knowing that what you probably really wanted was a real girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So you get her once a month for a weekend or four or five days. After she been that's that, that how is that even ideal? I mean, she's at home living her real life, mm -hmm. doing real shit, paying bills, struggling, uh, taking care of her kids, which is a huge part of her life that you don't even know about. If mm -hmm. y'all be together, you don't even know how it is to be with the kids yet. Mm -hmm. You don't even know this woman, honestly. I mean, she's basically on vacation with you three or four days a month, mm -hmm. having fun. You know her time of her life. You know her at her best. Yes. When she's free from all of the responsibilities <laughs> of her life. Mm-hmm. And she can just freely have a good time. Mm -hmm. You're her good time. Right. Um, now, do you want to be her good time? Yeah. If you know somebody only when they're having fun, you you don't know, don't know every them. part of them. Mm -hmm. You don't even know if you really want to be with that person until you experience mm -hmm. how they deal with stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. She doesn't have any bills or responsibilities with you, right? So she has nothing to argue with you about. She has nothing to feel like you're not doing enough or whatever because her husband gets all that. Mm -hmm. Which is probably why he wants her to go ahead and have a girlfriend so he can go ahead and have himself a girlfriend. Exactly. So you're basically sleeping with her, him, and whoever, and whoever sleeping he's sleeping with. with and exactly. whoever they're sleeping with. Exactly. Because they're obviously, other, the other people are sleeping with other people because these people are not giving them full time. So you're sleeping Think with a lot of that. people at this point. Think about that. Um, I, girl, you need to get out of this. To be in her position, the wife, I get it. Hell yeah. I get it. She, she living her best life. Yeah. But to be in your position, it's not fair to you that you, and you are putting your life on hold. You're dating a 47 year old woman. You are 27. You're at a prime age where you can have children, start a family, or start meeting the person that you're going to possibly have a family with and stuff like that. But you're wasting your time and your life with this woman wasting. who's 47. You spend another five years with her. She's going to be in her 50s. You're still going to be, you know, you're going to be in your early 30s. And you've wasted all this time that you could have been meeting your perfect or your mate that's going to spend the rest of your life. You're going to spend the rest of your life with. 
For what? For somebody that's never going to leave her husband? And then after five or six years, she's going to be done with you anyway because she's probably tired of <clears throat> having outside. You know, you do it while you're young. Oh, I'm having fun doing this. And then when you're done, okay, I'm going to settle down with my husband and just be with my husband. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. You met the perfect person in your eyes, but that person is not single. So it doesn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? And there's probably a lot of great people that are married. Mm -hmm. But... They with somebody else, so I can't be with them. That's not in my pool of dating. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You need to go meet some other people. Mm -hmm. You might think that right now. And like I said, you haven't even had a chance to really experience life with her. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, man. Move on, girl. Move on. Yeah, you need to go ahead. And, and don't be fantasizing about her, comparing new people to her because you feel like she's the best person. But then you're going to meet other people and y'all going to actually have real situations and not just fun mm -hmm. and then you're gonna be like well the other person was better because i never had no problems yeah mm -hmm. because you wasn't living real life with her mm -hmm. so don't be comparing the next girls to this one and all that let her ass go if y'all have any advice for her leave it in the comments below if y'all want to send us a topic send it to steph and tasha on instagram i'm so sorry. who told you to do this or you just I'm so sorry i just thought of it that's disgusting that was really disgusting it took me about a week to really have the balls to do it. Because I didn't want to do it. Because I was like, this is nasty. And I know I'll be fucking totally. We would have to end the video. <laughs> yeah. We would have to end the video. Mad. I can eat after. I, I just gotta think, no I gotta think about it. And then be like, okay, let me get myself back into it. But I was about to throw so it all sorry. the hell up. I, I, knew, to, I, I knew you was about to. Yeah, that's why I was like, let me, let me tell her. It's right. I wanted you to sit down so I like, see your face and I'm shit. I'm sorry. Bro. I'm nah, sorry, y'all. That I, was a pure success. Okay? It was. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Until next time. Only good vibes. Here. Oops. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.